What's up, you guys? It's FeedyX. It's been a while since I've done an intro specifically for YouTube. Um, we hit 50k subs like a few days ago. I think we were just at 20k before Tekken 8 came out, so it's been an amazing ride, and thanks so much for your support. We got the chance, obviously you clicked on the thumbnail, you know, we got the chance to coach a gigantic streamer, content creator, YouTuber, Disguised Toast. If you don't know who Toast is, he came from the Hearthstone scene. Uh, he uh, went into Among Us and Teamfight Tactics and is a member of Offline TV, like a streamer house in LA. Their house is getting into Tekken, and I had the awesome opportunity to coach BoxBox, Box, uh, one of their friends and a former league player. That video will be coming out later. But also, I got to coach Disguised Toast himself. An exciting opportunity, and watching these gamers and streamers from other genres come to Tekken is so fascinating. I got the chance to coach him, so the first half will be the coaching, kind of going over some Steve stuff, some basic beginner things. It's not going to be like really tight punishment or optimization. I believe the approach for teaching a beginner the game is have fun with the big buttons first. Punishment, movement, defense, those are all like eating your veggies, right? So I want them to have fun with the game first and discover what they enjoy about it. And because they're such gamers in other aspects, usually they'll be drawn to optimization themselves. And spoiler, Toast is already looking to optimize a lot. So future videos will show more of that. For now, this is just our first session coaching and then some ranked matches. And something else to look forward to, we also got to coach it's on this side, Lily Pichu, another huge streamer, another offline TV member. Exciting things are coming to this channel. Couldn't have done it without your guys' support. Please enjoy the video and leave any questions or things you think I missed in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Um, that's it. Let's get into it. Hello, hello. Hello there, Mr. Coach. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. It's uh, my second day of playing Tekken. So, gotcha. Uh, I'm, I'm still still trying to learn the game. Okay. Yeah, I saw. So you got some combos. You got your, your back one combo and the armor move and stuff like that. Uh, what else have you... Uh, what else has you kind of figured out? It looks like the notation kind of makes sense too. Should I be playing Steve is the question. Oh, that's a really good question. Are you solely trying to beat Skara and the gang? Are you trying to like play Tekken for like a decent amount of time? Because I think that depends. That depends on that. I think I'll be playing Tekken. I'll be going to Evo and playing Tekken. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Okay. So how I've always felt about Steve is that the like initial learning curve is really high but if you really feel like solid with him like the very basics he becomes very straightforward um at least that was the case in Tekken 7 he's a bit different now but like uh i played him a bunch yesterday and my impression is kind of similar so he's super solid and it might be rough at first but i think in the long term especially by evo it might become straightforward maybe that's my I that's my rough out. assessment at this time who else would you I consider if you were going to play somebody else well i like characters that are kind of easy yeah like, i like playing e honda okay so if you like the e honda play style king is solid king is really solid for that who else would be really good honestly king is that guy uh claudio is kind of straightforward both of those characters have like pretty decently simple execution and the game plan is really straightforward too but steve isn't bad like especially there he has a lot of like basics that are really really you can you can you can play into the basics and again initial learning curve kind of high but then he gets pretty straightforward but if you're trying to go like i just want to rob everybody around me i want to do something really easy for me king would be the move would people look down on me because i play king I, it's hard to say there's so much community hype for king right so like you'll get salty people online who'll be mad but like king is the people's champ you know some of the most famous american players are king players you know what i mean so it, it's hard to say it's hard to say. <laughs> people will be mad losing to you, but will people from the outside look down on you? It's hard, it's hard to say. If you're just trying to get in there and play what's good, King is good. King is really good in this game. Uh, but Steve makes me feel like I'm cool. Like, oh my God, he's a Steve player. He's ducking and weaving and boxing. I think I think the it, just by that alone, you should play Steve. I am a, I'm a believer that Tekken is so hard that you have to pick somebody that's fun to lose on. <laughs> you know what i mean so let's see you know you know some basic combos uh, notation kind of makes sense how do you feel about like the basics of like attacking and blocking like high mid low uh throws things like that what do you know about that um well i have this weird thing like because i'm using an xbox controller right my one throw is the easiest one for me to hit because you right. just hit uh, one and three together mm -hmm. but then it's very easy to get out of because the only throw i do yeah. Do you have uh, custom binds? Uh, Albert gave me um, 
like one and two and one and i mean two and three yeah yeah i i I do have a few of those okay so already for your other throw you have up forward one plus two and you can use the bind on your trigger for that yeah 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 a little throw mix up there so that's already one you could do another throw that steve has that's really good and I'll, i'll talk about this more later but if you hit forward three plus four he goes into peekaboo stance yeah, yeah, and then one plus two out of this stance, just by itself, uh, is a super fast throw that's really hard to break. This throw is sick. If you get into this stance, and we can talk about the different ways to do that, uh, you, you will like talk about some setups and stuff like that, then you got that throw, which is nasty. Uh, yeah, very basic attack, and I think you, I think you already pointed out, uh, like, you know, you got your mid pokes and your low pokes, like mid hits them if they duck, and then low hits them if they're standing, right? And then mm-hmm. highs are kind of more like... You, you, you throw it out while people are moving around. Maybe you can interrupt them. And Steve has some really good highs. I think the best one uh, from... Go ahead. Is, uh, what's a good mid poke for Steve? Yeah, yeah. So Steve's mids, if you could do... Uh, are you familiar with, if I say QCF, what that input is? Oh, God. I'm 32. I can't. Mid, <laughs> like I'm on, I'm on an Xbox D-pad, quarter circle forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So try it on the D-pad. I know people who actually will do it on the stick. Like, they'll do the input on the analog stick. I don't know if I can confidently recommend that, but QCF1 is Steve's, like, best mid. This mid is insane. Yeah, this mid is crazy. Right At the wall, it'll wall splat them, so you get a combo. Uh, in the open, it has, like, huge range. It's, like, really safe. This move is insane. This move is really, really good. So you want to get really comfortable with that. That move is also pretty good. His up forward one is how you can, like, jump over lows. Up forward. And I'll, I'll write all these down and try to make, like, a little cheat sheet. Uh... Got it. QCF1, up forward one. And then another really good mid is his running two. Yeah, this mid is insane. So Steve is usually a pretty, like, he, he wants to counter hit the opponent, right? He wants to, like, catch you coming into mm-hmm. him. Pause. But the, uh, the, the strength of his offense is that if you decide to chill out against him, he could do that running two. And he, can, mm-hmm. he gets so many frames, he gets, like, a strong mix up. It's really nasty. So your key mids are probably QCF1, up forward one, and while running two. And you mostly use these when your opponent is either like chilling out a bit. Like if your opponent's spamming attacks on you, we have our counter hits. But if they're kind of chilling out a bit, then we look for these. So your back one is obviously really good. Another one that's really, really sick is one, two, one. Yeah, just those three. So one, two, one is insane. It does 31 damage. Um, it's all guaranteed on counter hit. And it's not one of those strings that's like, oh, they can just start ducking it, right? Because if they try to duck after, you have one, two, one, and then you hit two at the end. So it's literally just one, two, one, two. And the fourth hit is a mid. So if they try to duck and you know play games around that, the mid usually comes out so fast they can't get a punish or anything. But we usually just do the first three hits because the first three hits are all guaranteed on counter hit. So if our back one is feeling too slow, like they're rushing us down and it's too hard to find it, one, two, one is our backup plan. It's like, oh, I can do this for free and it's really, really fast and it goes super far tracking, all of that. And then kilos, you already found down back two. That one's pretty good. Another one you have is just down one. Down one is a lot faster. It doesn't seem like a lot, but just a few down ones can make your opponent annoyed enough that you can find your counter hits again. So when I throw these out, there's no follow-up, right? I'm just poking them. Yeah. A lot of Steve, uh, for the main moves we're talking about here, are going to be like single hits. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we can talk about a bunch of the stances and the follow-ups later. So let's see. Other lows. I mentioned down one. We found down back two. And then we have, when you're standing right in their face, down back three, two. Down back three, two. Two. Yeah, it's a two hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This oh. is really good. And then he goes into this stance with uh, three options. So uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. But this low is super good, especially when you mix it up with that QCF1 because they come out at very similar speeds. So your opponent has to really guess. Okay. The difference okay. is obviously the range, but uh, when you're at like the wall or in an up close situation, that becomes less of a problem. Yeah, okay, let's see. We got the key highs, key mids, key lows. I gave you a couple throws already. You have your generic one, and then you have up forward one plus two. He has this crazy quarter circle back throw that is kind of ridiculous to do, but uh, you might be able to get away with not doing that for now. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we'll see if as we go along if it's needed. I'm pulling up Steve here on my side so I can uh, make sure I have everything covered. Yeah, yeah, the peekaboo throw, super good. So, oh, oh one other mid that I need to cover is uh, down forward two. Down forward two. Yeah. Down forward two. Yeah. So this is a big counter hit mid, but to get the value out of it, it takes a few inputs. So this is where Steve is usually kind of seen as a bit difficult, but 
I think it'll be okay. So you down forward two, and then you hit forward three right after. So down forward two, forward three. Yeah, and then you see how he ducks after? Mm -hmm. This makes it safe. So if you just down forward two by itself, uh, it has different properties. But if you cancel it into that ducking stance, then it's a bit more chill, right? He gets, better, he gets a better situation. And the follow-up on counter hit, uh, I'll just introduce this and we can like grind it out later and stuff like that. But the follow-up is you do down forward two and then you do that forward three and then you mash one plus two. Do that forward three. Yeah, so you do down forward two and then you do forward three, which we'll call like duck cancel. But uh -huh. it's just when he ducks in after, yeah. Yeah, and then you do one and two? Yeah, and then you'll mash just the one plus two trigger over and over. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if you do it fast okay. enough, it's guaranteed. But that's the basic stuff. And then one other key move that's really important is just one plus two by itself. Yeah, Sonic Fang. So this is our main like whiff punish. So we're just like moving around. The opponent kind of swings in the open, and like we want to punish him for that. Ooh. This move goes so far. It's really, really fast. It's like a it's really straightforward whiff punish, and it's really, really nice because you get into heat and you get all this other stuff. At the end of your heat dash, I feel like it just becomes a guessing game on what they will do and what you would do, right? Because yeah, a yeah. lot of times I just like to go straight for the grab here. That's not bad. You have some other really cool options too. So so if you if you look at the frame data just briefly when you uh, when you hit that, you're like plus 17. And basically mm -hmm. at that, when it's that big, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Like even if they rage art, like you're, if you do a fast enough move, it'll beat them. Usually what... Uh, Steve players I see like to do is they'll they'll hit the heat engage and then they'll go for that stomp the down back three two down back three two yeah so you hit the oh yeah yeah you just try it in the open okay yeah, yeah yeah so they'll do that after the heat engage or they'll do the running two and that becomes their like mid low mix up yeah yeah and then if you hit it and you hold forward you get that cancel where you can continue a combo. You see how they oh. fly in the air like that? Then you get your basic combo that you did for back one. I think it'll be the same one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Um, this might be a good chance to teach you the very standard Steve Wall combo. It's, yeah, okay, let me think. I'm going to type it in the chat just so you can see it because it's got a few inputs. But once you get it, it's very straightforward. Let me share my screen and show you what it looks like visually. Once you, the, the reason why I think this is kind of important is because um, if you can get this, you get so much damage off of just like one interaction that it makes it easier to just keep, keep beating people up because you don't have to outplay them very much. You just get a couple insane hits on them and then, they, and then you win. So let me change the stage to the same one. So let's see, I'll do this combo. Uh, I'll do the same one. Just, okay. And this is the wall combo. All right, so how it works is I'll reset at the wall. Uh, there's three parts to it. The parts are two, one, back. And then he does this little, this little dance with the one hand by his chin. Two, one, back. Out of that, you hit forward three to duck forward. So two, one, back is the first step. Forward three is the second step. And then the third step is you mash the Gatling gun punches. So off of a wall splat like this, it looks like that. And I'm just doing up forward four here to get the wall splat. Or even better, you do QCF one. But it's two, one back, dash forward, and then do that Gatling gun. And those stance cancels will probably be the most like immediately taxing part of playing Steve. But once you have that all committed to like muscle memory, he becomes very like, plug and play the whole game becomes looking for looking for these counter hits uh finding these in the open and then just running a bunch of pressure with this running a bunch of pressure with this little guard break all right he has a lot of stuff in the open gets easier once the muscle memory of all this is like down pat but that's probably my steve basic rundown counter hits some small pokes if you need it and then once you get like pressure at the wall, it's kind of disgusting because he can he can do this for free as much as many times as he wants. And if you're really turtling up, he can step on your feet. <laughs> so I do the two one and then I hold back to essentially 
cancel and then I go into a duck? Yeah. And then so the, the Gatling? The back puts you in a stance that lets you duck right away. That's the reason we do it. Okay. Yeah. A four. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna look like. And then you just slowly speed it up. Yup. Yeah, yeah. And then as you speed up the time between the duck, uh, that's how you get it to the point where it'll like be one straight combo. You know, I'll I'll learn the wall combos later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll just give it to you so you can see it, and then we can we can grind out all of that later. But yeah, I think I have dumped so much info on you. It's uh, if you wanted to hop into games, that would be a good time too. I can keep watching, and uh, we can start I'm one to of those figure. Players out. that forget everything the moment I step into rank. That's how I feel too. I'm not gonna lie. I my chat always flames me for like this isn't the combo we told you to do. I'm like, yeah, I know, bro. I'm like. <laughs> Also, if I ever get okay, is there a is there a merit to playing on the right at the start and do a move that puts you on the left where you're more experienced, but oh. the other guy won't be experienced? Oh, you're meta gaming already. I like that. Yeah. So because everyone plays on the left and they can't play on the right. Yeah, you can kind of you could probably. Wow, that's like a that's like a tournament winning strat. I would have saved that. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, you could do that. You obviously run the risk of if they like. If they can counter your side swap right away, then you're cooked, right? But like, uh, that's not a bad strategy, especially with uh, Steve having the one plus two throw that can do that. Yeah, like so that's oh, very valid. Like, yeah, imagine yeah. me starting on the right. And yeah, yeah, and you yeah, hit that throw. Then, yeah, yeah, I do this, and then I'm in my like comfort zone, and they're thrown off. Yeah, and 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 that has a dual benefit too because. Um, generally, when people are on their offside, they, hit, they like to hit more buttons, or they like to freeze up completely. But they usually hit more buttons. And Steve loves it when the opponent hits more buttons, right? With the back one and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think... What's okay, we're fighting a kid. Oh, God, which button do I press to get out of his Br London Bridge death rolling cradle? Uh, <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to look at this, and we're going we're gonna to go through the grinder, because this is uh, going to be tough. But I'm going to like a lot of 1-2-1 one, one against King. 1-2-1? One, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, nice grab. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That was a good, yeah, that was a good whiff punish attempt. I like that. Okay, grab him up. He can't break throws. There we go. That's the right idea for sure. It's like he's whiffing in the open. We hit the one plus two. Yo, what's up, stoners? Thank you so much oh, for the raid, Eris. Hope you're I'm having a good evening. Hope you had a good stream. Come on. Good to see y'all. I gotta get back to my coaching oh. duties, but uh, I really appreciate it. Cheers, bro. He's pointing at me! When he knees you like that, you can and you block it, you can throw that 1-1-2. One, one, oh my god, dancing on him? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, when he points at me, what should I do? Block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block, and then we'll see if he goes to the throw. Nice. Ooh. That's close, that's close. I like that. Nice, nice. We'll punish. Here we go. Oh my god, yeah. unblockable? <laughs> okay, he did his armor move. Nice, nice interrupt. Round four. Fight. Nice. Oh. oh yeah, when, when King's in heat, he has that disgusting heat smash that's mid, does 50 damage, breaks the floor, stuff like that. So you have to do a lot of blocking. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice. Yup. Oh my god. Whiff punish master and unblockable master. <laughs> okay, those whiff punishes were nasty for real. Okay. 
Okay, okay, we can we can uh we can work with that for real. This is fire. Sidestep opener! Yep. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, we cooked him. Oh wait, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh side throw. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Don't die, okay, yeah, that works. Uh, oh shit, what a read. Damn. <laughs> this guy ain't shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <clears throat> nice. Ah! Whoa. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so he's doing that? Yeah, yeah, you can just keep blocking. It does no chip damage or stuff like that, right? So that's one option. You can also do a duck and like while standing one too. This is a scrap. Oh my god. Oh, does that work? He's ground. Oh my god, it worked! Let's go! It's a knockout what? <laughs> For Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> oh my god. Good night. Round three. Fight. For Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh my god, he's activated. Oh, okay. What you gonna do? Fuck you gonna do? <laughs> oh, here comes the punish! Yup, the punish! Yup! <laughs> oh, 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 yes! Hey, back it up! Back it up! Okay. Yo, oh, this is sick. Nice. Hey, give me a hug. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh no. Back I one! Ow! Okay. Now. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm on the other side of my weakness. It's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, the frames. He's playing the frames. I love it. Well, first of all, let's celebrate what is going crazy. That whiff punishment game is on lock. I already love that. So we'll keep that up. Uh, you can turn those 1-1s one into 1-2-1s. One yeah. yeah. I, it's, it's like... Because I don't know if the first one's going to hit. Yeah, yeah, So, So it's all safe. So even if it doesn't hit, you're chilling. You just hit one, two, one, and then you block after, and then nothing happens to you. Got it. So yeah, I yeah. Could, like, when I throw out a jab, I should always just a one, two, one. For Steve, like, yeah. Steve, okay. Steve throwing out one, two, one is nasty. It's really, really good. Okay. And then if they start playing the game after, you do like one, two, one, two. You just finish the last hit. So let me, let me show you one other thing really quick when you do that one, two, one. So do one, two, one, two. One, two, one, three. Yeah. And then after this, you just want oh. to hit forward three after. And that just makes it safe. Oh, uh, with the duck? Yeah, yeah. You just do the duck cancel after the last hit. And then that's it. Yeah. And then to leave the duck, you can hold like down back, like just a crouching block. So it's going to feel like a lot of inputs, but it's really just duck cancel out of it and then block. And then you'll be good. Yeah. So you use one, two, one mainly. And you use that if they start mashing on you after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fourth hit is gonna body so many people who are like, he's doing one, two, three. I'm gonna hit him now. And then <laughs> one, two, three, four. And then like the uh, mileage you can get out of that, even all the way up to like high level is crazy. Because people hate blocking against Steve over and over. Is one, two, three, four, is the four hit combo safe? Yes, when you do the duck cancel, it, it's completely safe. So that's why we'll, we'll, we'll add that in eventually. Also, I trolled not giving you a certain low. I'll talk about that after this. Okay. Round one. Fight. Fuck you gonna do? Fuck you gonna? Hold. <laughs> yeah. 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 You gonna play safe? You gonna play safe? Give me a hug. <laughs> mm. Let's go. You try to hit me? You try to hit me? <laughs> Give me a hug. Oh god. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Holy shit. 
you gonna do? I'm gonna open with the heads. Oh god. Oh shit. Fuck. One, two, three. One, two. Hit. Yeah. And two oh. the comp. Wait, that's a fire right combo. Him, head smack. Go for the grab. Punch him in the stomach. Go for the. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh god. Lows. My weakness. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You can take a lot of lows. Oh, grab counter hit. Or on a parry. Oh, it's over. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. Okay, instead of doing my cheese move, I should probably learn something else. Nah, I mean, it, it's cool, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna work with what you have right now, and we'll integrate other things. One, two, one. Yeah, one, one two, two, one. one. Here we go, yup. Yeah. One, yeah. two, one. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, oh. Oh, god. Okay. <laughs> Counter hit grab on the armor. Oh, I think it kills. No, 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 no. no. She, she doried me. Round <laughs> four. Fight. Oh, wait, that, that was almost hard. One, two, yep. two, yep. combo hits. Oh, the grab is doing work. The grab is doing so much work. One, two, one, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fade out the rage art. One, two, oh. <laughs> one, two, one. Fade out the rage art. Yeah. One, two, one. Yeah. One, yeah. two, one. Nice. Fish for the counter hit. I love it. I love it. It's so Fish solid. No hit. gaps in the defense. It's so solid. <laughs> Straight from London, Birmingham. <laughs> Let's go. Round one. Fight. Oh. Count the hits. Oh, okay. Oh god, I forgot to do anything else. I've been so focused on doing this. Okay, whiff punish. What? <laughs> Unbreakable defense. Oh shit. Ah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, and after you block the punches, you probably get one two one again, which is really nice. Oh, she ducked under Reina stuff. What? Oh my god, grabbed her out of that? Oh, good try. Oh my god. Nice whip punish. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I punish? Are we alive? No, we're dead. Oh, we're alive. Oh. Uh, okay. Round three. Okay. Fight. <sighs> Keep blocking. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Nice. Wow, that was solid timing. All right, so she's breaking that one throw, right? Try the up forward one plus two throw. Oh shit, okay. heat smash. That's also a good thing to use. Yeah, that running two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you start running the running two, it gets ugly for her, right? So you get like one knockdown or Sonic Fang, and you just start running that. Running two, and then you can do the up forward one plus two throw. Yup. 
timing god. It's odd. Oh, go. Wait, I'm it's okay. Run it's okay. It's okay. Now you just Better do running to again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me the side back. <laughs> oh, what a read. Oh my god. She didn't want to take the throw. Oh my god. Final round. Fight. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're chilling. We're chilling. She does no damage. Yeah. And then she does that. And now we're now we're chilling. Now it's our turn again. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Running two. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. The reverse sweep. Yo. <laughs> <laughs>